sometimes I think about user interface in applications or like operating systems and I try to find out why a certain OS or operating system becomes obsolete or less efficient than the one that came before. So when it comes to my studio practice, there was a period of time where I used these Etch-a-Sketch devices to make drawings because I needed an operating system that was so far obsolete and difficult and counterintuitive so that it could remind me of why there are glitches and errors while I was making a drawing, for example. So the show, in its physical sense, is about providing the audience with a sense of the rather integrated nature of Genevieve's thinking and a nice sense of the rhythm of her work. Rhythm was something that we talked about a lot, particularly the rhythm that's introduced by rather free use of punctuation symbols, which are in the aid of a certain abstraction, but which retain some sense of their meaning for the viewer. This idea of rhythm is something that we wanted to extend out across the installation so that there was a rhythm to the space. And when we laid out parts of the installation, we bore the viewer's experience in mind. We designed the hang so that people would move in a kind of a zigzag, not necessarily realising it, but enabling us to have space around individual work. And the show, enough for people to be able to appreciate them in isolation but also to tie together the practice as a, an integrated whole. Jen, as a person, we synchronise on a lot of things on a creative level, especially like a colour palette. So like, let's say when we, we begin to choose colours, we, we told her to actually look at the Pantone chart, right? But the Pantone chart has like thousands of colours. After that, like, I realised that there are some similarities with what we see Going back to some of her work, there was a pattern like neutrals, earthly tones, pastels. When I was set to, to kind of come up with a palette for her, I gave her a specific spectrum instead of telling her to utilise the Pantone chart. Within that spectrum, she had a bit more trust in me, so that's where we, we kind of played off each other. It's quite amazing how she come up with the shape. I'm very sure she already can visualise like what she wants. Then she will just cut out papers and tape it up into a general shape and then just show it to us. We, we need to kind of enlarge it to the size she wants. Then at the same time, we need to create a mold so that the paper can be cast on top. She will just decide on the colour of the concrete paper and then the texture as well. So she actually just move along as we move along as well. So she's actually there every step. So within that three weeks, we have to conceptualise, contextualise certain things, test certain things to sort of have more solid idea of what a series should look like rather than them having a mission coming into STPI. On that part, I think a lot of our brains have to be activated right from the get-go, from the moment the artist will get into the doors of the workshop. So to be able to work with the artist as well as fellow printers, I find it very enjoyable because you see true collaboration there between the artists and fellow workers. I think the immediate thing that struck me was the sense of materiality. Having viewed the works on screen, you know, having a list of works and having JPEGs available is one thing, but seeing them in person was very different. A strong sense of just how significant that materiality is to the work as a whole and that they're not just images, they're objects. And that's quite true across Genevieve's practice. It's one of the reasons that this idea of working in two and a half dimensions is so resonant. One thing I hope that comes across is the humour. There's a real wit in Genevieve's work, finding humour in errors and glitches and a number of the insertions that she's made into the space in terms of its design, in terms of the wall paintings, 
and I hope that people see that sense of joy. So when I kind of mention these these enormous systems governing our lives, it can seem like doom and gloom. And I hope that Genevieve's work is a reminder of some of the kind of essential things that we can do to maybe step away from the sense of being overwhelmed and to find humour in it and the gaps through which we might sometimes escape. It's also a result of the collaborative energy I've had with the printmakers at STPI. At STPI, we have a huge printmaking studio with different sorts of presses and different ways of making a fast image looking like it needed a lot of manual dexterity or expertise. And I suppose there is a certain conflict there that needs to be addressed when it comes to making an image that is almost quite inefficient in a very efficient world. This is probably my third or fourth project working with the STPI workshop. So it really helped that they understood my preferences or eccentric ways of working to be able to like sometimes hint or introduce me to something that they might want to try themselves and see if we can take off from there. It's quite a challenge for me to like always view the work with a fresh pair of eyes and sense of space. So I'm really glad that the entire exhibition has a sense of grace and serenity which I feel quite invigorated by. <laughs>